All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here to do the baby tag, and Xander is about 10 months old. He'll be 10 months on the 15th, and as you can see, I'm outside, and of course, somebody is using some sort of a chainsaw or something. So please bear with me, and I hope that you can hear me. So as I said, we're here to do the baby tag, and I'm not sure how long he'll sit with me, but I'm going to try and coax him to sit with me the whole time. So let's jump into it. The first question is, what was baby's height and weight at birth? So at birth he was 8 pounds, 3 ounces, and he was, yes, see this isn't going to work. You want to already go. Well, you saw him, you know I have a baby, so he's going to be in and out. And he was 8.3 pounds, oops, and uh, 21 inches long and the next question is what newborn diapers did you use and he had all cloth diapers and in the hospital I used um, maybe five or six of those honest disposable ones just because I had them and they were cute patterns and I didn't see a problem with those I just wanted to use cloth and we used the G diapers the newborn ones and then rumparoos for newborn and the third question is how long until grown out of newborn clothes and then zero to three um, he wore newborn clothes for probably about two and a half to three weeks and zero to three about the same he was huge he was wearing like three to six months at like a month old so he wasn't really wearing newborn clothes for that long what diaper bag brand use? This is the fifth question. One, two, three. Yeah, this is the fifth question. What diaper bag brand did you use? And at first I had a skip hop bag, but since I don't have a car, I was having to walk around and uh, use my carrier with him. So, and it was like a cross bag and whatnot. So I just would always use my backpack because this was when I was wearing him in the front a lot. So I would always wear my backpack and that was a Dekine backpack and that worked awesome. I mean, you don't really need some brand name diaper bag unless you want one. Now I just use tote bags. <laughs> so, and this sixth question is, did you use a swing? I did not use a swing. I had this baby hammock and he hated it. He absolutely did not want to go anywhere near it. and. I don't know, maybe he was just a clingy baby and whatnot, but he didn't like any of the stuff that was baby oriented. And the seventh is a baby oriented question and he did use it. And it's, would you recommend a play mat? And I definitely would, but not the one I had. I had a, no, do not eat that, don't eat that, don't eat that. No, 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 no. Or was I at? Okay, yes. The, I would not recommend the place that, that I had. It was a sassy brand, and it was like a, I don't know. I can't, it was like a plastic type material. It sucked. I would recommend a cloth one, or just you put a swaddle blanket down. That's what I did most of the time. Just I had a million of those swaddle blankets, and I would just always put those down. And then after he started crawling, he wouldn't stay on the blanket anyway. So... <laughs> And the eighth question is, would you recommend a bouncy seat? And I definitely would, as I was just telling my neighbor, is that if you need a few seconds to go to the bathroom or take a shower or do your dishes or put your laundry in, you can always, rather than, you know, setting your baby down in some random spot and not knowing where they are, you can put them down in the seat and then they're safe, they're right there, they're not going to go anywhere. And the next question is, would you re recommend a bassinet or pack and play? And I had a co-sleeper, and I would put him in there in the naps, during naps, but at night, um, I would put him in it sometimes, but it was such a hassle to like, I don't know if maybe, it, it just wasn't even directly on my bed, so it was like hard to pick him up and then put him back in it, when you're asleep. It's like your arm, he was heavy. He's always been heavy. So it's like you're picking up this humongous baby and your arms are like, er, but so 
so I don't know. I didn't use up that net or pack and play. I don't really like baby jails. So there's that. And the next question is, did you use a soother or passy? And I did not. I have nothing against them. I just didn't really want that. I was a thumb sucker, and I don't really care if he does. And he doesn't even do it. He does it once in a while, so. One must-have item. I'm going to give you two. Since I don't drive, I... Xander! I would recommend two. I have two must-haves, and that is a some sort of baby, baby carrier. Oh, yeah, see, he's not going to stay. Uh, some sort of baby carrier I had when he was born. I had a wrap, and I had a uh, soft structure, and I absolutely hated the wrap. There was just way too much fabric for me, and I had the boba wrap, and I would definitely not recommend that, no matter how many different wit tries I did to tie it, and I, I, I watched m many, many videos on how to do it. It just didn't work, and I never felt um, completely comfortable with him, and being in it and uh, like I said there was just way too much fabric so I would not recommend that. I would definitely want to try a ring sling with um, if I have another child and um, and also uh, maybe a different size wrap. They have sizable wraps but uh, my favorite was the soft structured and I put him in it like when he was it must have been a week and a half old. I was putting him in it, and I didn't use an infinitor. I just made him a little froggy M with his legs, and he was always good. And he was quite big, though, like I keep saying. It's not new that he was big. I would recommend the carrier and a, um, I have the Boone changing table or changing pod, something like that. It has since been discontinued, so if you can't buy that, I would recommend the Kikaru Peanut. And that is another sort of silicone -y, um, changing table mat, but it's not like the ones that you usually get where you have to put a cover over it. So breast milk poop is so runny, and he just go, he would go on a dime when I would put him on the changing table. So it's one last thing that you don't have to clean. I mean, you don't have to have the wash. All you have to do is just spray it with your, um, you can even spray it with your diaper sprayer if you have a diaper sprayer, if you're cloth diapering. Or, you know, everybody has a sink sprayer, I would think. Just spray it with a sink sprayer. That's what I did. And so I would definitely recommend that and the carrier. So a changing, a silicone changing pad and a carrier. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I almost just let something slip, but my brain is mush right now. Sorry about that. Any advice for breastfeeding and bottle feeding? So, breastfeeding, always have your water. Do not go anywhere without water. I see you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so, water, snacks, and just, you know, you can do it. Pat yourself on the back if you make it a week, a day, a month, a year. Give yourself a humongous pat on the back because it's it's the best thing for your child and yourself and you know you'll get your body back at some point. Right now you've already given birth. I mean your body has been gone for a little bit anyway, so just give that to your baby and just persevere because you're worth it and your baby's worth it and you can make it through it. So and always have in your phone a lactation consultant and your doctor's office. Just, hey, I'm having a little bit of issues. What can you do? What, what is there to do? What is there to help? How can you help me? You know? What work to calm your baby? <laughs> the boob and, um, let's see, doing the shushing. And, you know, I would always just kind of bounce him, rock with him, do one of those. And, oh putting him in the carrier and just walking. That was the biggest thing at night. He would, at night he would just be so unconsolable for about an hour until he was probably two or three months old. I don't really remember the exact time, but he would just cry for a little bit, like I said, like an hour. And then, so that was like a witching hour, I guess it's called. And that would be the time where I would just take him out for a walk and just, put him in the carrier, even walk around my house, you know, I'd turn the faucets on, 
do all sorts of things because I tried running the vacuum and that didn't really work. You have to really get it soon. Xander, come on, over here. Where are you going? Thank you. What was your bedtime routine? So he, when he was young, I would definitely do the bath and I started his bedtime at about 7.38 and I still do that now and just do the bath, get him undressed, calm him down, um, and then feed and read. <laughs> you know, so that was our bedtime routine. We don't necessarily have like a set, oh this, I do a massage, I do this, I do that. It's just, I give him a bath every other night and stuff like that. Okay, this is kind of a random question, but the hair color of mama, daddy, and baby, plus the eye color. So obviously I have um, kind of dirty blonde and blue eyes. Matt has kind of like dirty blonde and green hazel eyes. And Xander has blue eyes and blonde hair. And the last question would be any last advice? And that would just be to enjoy it. It's, um, it's sort of tough, but you can make it through. I mean, He's 10 months old almost, and it's gone by so fast. So just enjoy it, and you know, never stop loving yourself and your child. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and check back in a few days for tips on how to buy cloth diapers used. Thanks for watching. Bye. Notice that the video quality on this uh, video is not that great. I'm sorry about that, and I'll see you in my next one.